hi there i'm delighted to have you back on my channel if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos also try and like share this video with friends in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a database using microsoft access basically microsoft access is a database management system from microsoft and this allows you to manage database within a very nice way using relational method so we're going to have several tables within the database unlike excel Unlike Excel, so this will give you some kind of flexibility around your table. Getting record, driven record from table will become very easy once you create a form. So you can see within my screen over here, I have a relationship created within two tables. You can drag this around and I will explain this in videos to come, but I'll just give you some gist about this. This is a department table and this employees table and then we have one and this means many. So we have one to many, meaning a department can have many employees, okay? So we have employees table where we have the name of the employee, the telephone number, salary, email, that's the date of birth and then the department ID. And then this department ID is basically coming from what? Our department table. So we create that kind of relationship between the two. So we have our department table. When you double click over, we have the department table. And basically what we are doing is that we just want the department ID, the name of the department. So we want to know the name of the department. We can go ahead and add, let's say, we have what uh, safety department you can do that you can add that and then maybe the head of the department you can do whatever you want to do you can type the name of the person and i'll show you how to use form to manage this so you can see what is happening now i've added a new record so we have columns and then uh, we have the record so records is basically the individual data within our database so we can add this and then manage our data with ease we also have employees database so this employee can add more employees to the database so let's say we have fred and then we can add a number so just adding any number the salary of the employee i can just go ahead and then just enter it there and then we can add the email to the database So we can basically create this if you want to add a date of the the date of birth for the employee you can do that so this is just any default thing i'm going to enter so the employee can belong to a department and i'll explain this you can see if you come here you check the department id procurement is at number three so let's see within employee database we want Fred to belong to what procurement department then this is going to be what id number three okay so this is going to be what we refer to our referential integrity we want to enforce foreign key so department is having an id but when it appears within employees it will become what foreign key so we can create form to enter our data so i've created some forms so you can see our record over here i have a form and then i'll tell you how to design more form this is just introduction in order to see how we can go deeper and then do more complex database design with access you just have to subscribe and wait for that so you can move within this record and add more records if i come to employee employees form as well you can see the data we enter can appear in the phone and we can create more forms and then add data and add buttons to it so this is what we're going to do in this particular tutorial so stay tuned and see how we're going to create this so let me first save this and then i can just go to file and then once you want to create a new one go to file and then you can just go to new and we have blank database just click on that and then every database is supposed to have a name so let's say trial so this is just trial db so i'm just going to use this for demonstration purpose in order to go ahead just click on the create okay so let's forget about the design we've made it's going to update those things and make changes to that so let's just ignore that and focus on what we are going to do so when you click on a blank new database that is what you're going to get you get in this interface it's not anything so complex it's fine if you're familiar to word excel you can see that this ribbon we have these tabs we have these tabs available we have this ribbon here this basically look like excel but it's more advanced and then you can do so many amazing stuff with this so this is what we have now and like i said we're going to have department table we're going to have employee table so these are the two tables we want to work with in this particular tutorial so we have a default table you can see table one in order to give it a name just right click on the table and then i'm going to save so let's just call this department for short let's type a d b d e p 
pt and then click ok so you can see we've given a name to what there's department so once you want to add more columns by default you're going to have what id column and it's going to be auto generated number so just ignore that and let's come to the next field okay so this new column we just click to add so what are we going to add we want to add a name of an employee so click over there and then go to what let's select short so short means we want to just take the first name so you can see i'm going to focus on the first name because this is just introduction you can add first and last name of the employee so let's see so let me just call it let me just make it name this way just ignore click ok and then the next one we want to do is i want to take the phone number of employees so in this case you can select number and we can type what we want to enter the telephone number the next is to so we assume every department is going to have a number that we can easily contact them every department is going to have a name as well and i think we should have a department head so let's also see head so we need to be sure about data type you are using so i'll show you if you are making mistake with the data type how you can change that so this is okay for now and let me just save this so you can go ahead and then add department so let's say it so we can just put any number there for now and let's say we want to know the head so let's say team and then we want to add a new just ignore the id color it to be auto generated so let's say safety so let's say they have their own number and let's say can we want to add a new department so let's say we have procurement so we just put a number over there let's say we have so let's just leave it as it is so these are the few data we have and i'm going to show you how you can easily enter these records with ease you don't have to be entering them this way you can create a form so so far what i've done let me just save it you can easily create a form to enter this record into your table so we just created our department table in order to add a form you can just go to a create and you can see we have forms over here we have form design i'll show you how we can design forms amazing form add macros and other things so i want to create a form for this department i can just go and click on what under form groups i'll click on form i can see automatically a form has been generated for me so this form is associated with our department table so you can see my record that i have entered into the database has been pulled out automatically we can move through this record so i can use the arrow down here you can see you can move through this record we have option to add new record as well and i'll show you how we can design forms we have several buttons over here add attachment update this record i'll show you how we can do that so in order not to miss the advanced part of this video you need to subscribe so you wait for that and then you can use this system to manage your entire department or organization small organization you can do that so database design you don't need some fancy this thing you can easily use access to do that so we have this nice form designed for us and you can have the you have the teams change the colors and everything over here this is going to be a short video too so i just an introduction tutorial so i'm not going to focus much on that so since we have this form we can go ahead and then what save this form so now right click i'll go to save so let me just save dash form so this is going to my department for the form so i'll just click on that and you can see the form will be saved over here. anytime you want it, you can easily assess that so once we have our table we can go ahead and add our second table so we want to have employee table where we can take the details of employee remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video so in order to add a new table just go to create and go to a table when you click on this this way you have a new table added by default you see table one in this case i want to make it employee so i will go to right i'll right click and go to save so i'm going to call this employees and click okay so automatically my table will be updated and i believe every employee is going to have a name so let's say we have just name for now you can do first name and last name just type it that way and we want to also get their telephone number of every individual employee we want to know their salary so we're going to be currency so select salary so we want to also know their date of birth so you can select date and we have date and time 
So we just want to enter their date of birth. So let's just focus on the DOB. That's for date of birth. And if there be other information you want to pick, if you want their email, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to just enter a short, a large number. So we have options over so depending on what you want to use. If I want to attach a file, allow them to attach a file, calculate some additional if you want can calculate currency increments within the database you can see calculate field so you can do that currency and every other thing we can do that calculate the age and every other things we can basically do that so let me just call this email and that is it so that is what we have now and i need to include the department id so you can see we have department id i want to link it to an employee table so i'm going to add the last field and then i'm going to say number because our department column id column is taking a number so i'm going to say department underscore id so this is why we need a foreign key so this is what we're going to use to enforce the relationship the referential integrity so let's say the first department we have set and set telephone number let me just add anything and it's having a salary of let's say three thousand dollars can see automatically the sign will be added the currency sign i can select the date of birth let me just select anything for now you can add any email you want so this is your introduction i'm just telling you what you can do and the department i will explain more now i'm going to jump for now i'm just going to add what id number one so meaning if i say id number one simply means what the persons belong to what it department so you can see sets is having id one linking to the department tables i mean set belongs to what it department so if i go ahead and say coffee let me just add a number let's say coffee is taking thousand and then i'm going to enter the date of birth just say anything for now this is for training purpose so i'm just entering in the figure i want so if i enter three here what it means is that it belongs to what procurement department so i believe you are getting the concept i'm going to add the last person so let me say fred now let me enter the number so let me say thousand five hundred dollars and i can select the date so it's basically going to depend on what you want to take in that color you just specify that can see within the column if you want to change everything you can select that column and then you can see the data type you can easily change it to something or if it's by chance you made some mistake you can do that so we enter this and i'm going to enter two which means that fred belongs to what safety department so these are the two things we've done we have our two tables and i'm going to show you how we can create that relationship between them subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial the next thing we're going to do is that let's create a form for this so with this form with this database selected or this table selected let's go to create and go to what form so when you click on i can see a form automatically generated for this particular table and you can use this form to enter data it has already pulled the data you can use this scroll bar to move between your records now you can add more records and you're just using a form so you can design a form and then to make it look more attractive but i'm just giving the introduction you can see what we can do with your database and we'll go ahead let me save this save this and then we can go ahead and let me name it employee form then i'll save this so the next thing i'm going to do is that let me just close this in order to create the relationship if your table is active you will not be able to what create that relationship so i'll close the tables first but you still have them here you can open them anytime you want but i want to create that relationship between them so i'll close them and then go to what i'll go to database tools and you can see relationship when i click on this you wouldn't see anything for now but at the far right corner you can see the two tables we created you need to select the two because you want to build a relationship between them so hold down control and select the second one and the two be selected and go to all then you sit down here you can see add selected table I'll click on that and it will be added into our screen for us so i can enlarge this for you to see what exactly is going to happen so when i drag this you can see what is happening so we're going to build a relationship between the two so we know that department can have many employees or several employees so we have the department and then it's appearing within the employees table. that's the department id so we just have to drag this and drop it on the second department id 
which is a foreign key within imperative when you drop that it's going to give you a pop-up this way this we're going to build that kind of relationship between them and it's just asking us some few information you can see it's saying enforce referential integrity so we're going to enforce foreign key constraint so when you click on that we also have cascade updated record and a cascade deleted record so what is going to happen is that once we select the two we're going to check the two I'm going to check that what it means is that anytime we use the cascade updated record anything we do in the parents table will be done in the child table as well when delete record in the main table it will be deleted anywhere within the relationship so when i delete it in my first table that is the parent table the child and every other record within the tables will be deleted so that's using the word cascade so we're going to click on create i can see the relationships have been created between these two tables nicely what is going to happen is that we have one here and then this film is what infinity that's what many so what it means is that a department can have several employees okay and then every employee will belong to just one department so that is the relationship we've created between them if you enjoyed this video up to this stage remember to subscribe turn on the notification bell so don't miss any of my upcoming videos. we have so many amazing stuff coming up and you don't need to miss any of this so this is just an introduction to database design remember you can also export import database as well in access so if you want to let's say import a database from excel you can go ahead and go to external data you can see new data source when you click over they have from file you can import from excel atm document excel file sms file text file also from other database so other access database from sql from azure database from db's file also from online sources like sharepoint list also from what other sources like we have the outlook or the odbc database so these are several things you can do with access so amazing stuff very unique things you can do so your standard database management system and you need to learn this in order to have a very unique database for organization thank you so much for watching this video up to this stage remember to like share and subscribe to my video my channel and so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial so like come away again bye bye